Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today I brought my wife over here, who is a champagne aficionado. Um, well, I'm not. But I do know something that is the champagne of beers. So we're going to find out if that's true. Yeah, pretty much. Let's do this. So today we're going to be checking out Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. I have my official champagne aficionado here. Now, Miller High Life being the domestic beer, but well, it's actually pretty decently. So what we're going to do is compare Miller High Life to probably an equivalent of champagne. Cook's champagne. That's right. I'm pretty sure they're probably equal. I feel they're quality. very equivalent in their field. Let's see which is more champagne-like. Okay. Well, I mean, this is actually champagne. I feel like that's a given, yeah, but okay. Whatever. Let's see how Miller High Life stacks up to Cook's Brute. Let's do this. We have Miller High Life that claims to be the champagne of beers. I have my champagne aficionado over here. Um, let's go ahead and give it an aroma, uh, a taste, or an overall experience. So what you mean is a chance? I don't know. Whatever you think. Aroma, I will state. It's very is, yeasty. Yeasty is good. Bready. I'd give it a bready note. A lot of grain. That's a lot of why I said yeasty. There are choices that can be made in life, and that would not be one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a maltiness to it. It's a very light malt. I get a light honey malt flavor to this beer. Um, yes, I would give that honey that's been on a farm for about 20 years. Honey doesn't expire, so that's still good honey. It is still good honey. It's not necessarily honey I would go for first on the shelves. If I were to put a glass of Budweiser and a glass of this in front of you. Hands down Budweiser. Oh no. Yep. God, no. This is not for me. Probably because I've grown up around Budweiser. Yeah, I guess if you're just one of those people. So what would make you choose this one over Budweiser? I actually prefer the back end sweeter, maltier taste. Um, it is a different grain bill than Budweiser. Budweiser uses a rice. I guess that answers a question I was silently asking myself of, I don't like it because to me it is a little bit too sweet. It's sweeter, it's a little bit more grainy, like you said, yeastier, I said yeah. breadier. Um, it to me tastes a bit more like a beer, but but that's not exactly what we're here for. We weren't here to judge we weren't here this to judge beer. It. We need to see if it compares to an equivalent version of Champagne. -a. All right, so let's check out Cook's by itself really quickly to see how it compares. I don't really have champagne flutes, but this is probably an equivalent Correction. glassware. You do, you just didn't want to use them. Because half of them have like frou-frou stuff all over them or themed Halloween seasonal things. They're a champagne flute, they should be frou-frou. Yeah, no. They're frou-frou for all right, drinks. All right, for one, I mean, it's yellow, that's beer. But okay, so this champagne's bubbly. It's not, champagne is definitely more bubbly than High Life, but Miller High Life does have a decent carbonation to it. Let's check this out. Did you really just go over the bubble count of the two of these? Yes, you have to. That's aromatics. Which this is, I don't know, even that too. It's sweet grape juice. That's, that's. We'll get you drunk. Yes, basically that's what it is. It's, it's white grapes. There's a lot of sweetness to this. Um, it's a not super drying at all. Honestly, I would actually say this is more 
dry flavored. I would agree with that. This is the cheap man's way to be fancy. I got an idea. It's not a bad idea. Anything yeah. to make this better. Yes. Now it truly is the champagne of beers. Champagne. -a. All right, let's see if this too. It's palatable more to me now. I don't That's know that I would do this outside flavor. of a college dorm room, but it's... Um, I would, okay, I would say that this probably does help, like, girls probably drink a beer. And help it go down smoother. It's like, it kind of almost tastes like, not peanut butter and jelly, but like just bread and jelly. Because grape jelly and breadiness of the beer, I kind of get some of that out of it. That's a stretch. No, it's not. No, it is. No, it's not. No, it is. No, it is. All right, so we figured out that Miller High Life, champagne and beers. That's What's your version of High Life? <laughs> that's what it really comes down to. Yeah, that's it. But it's not bad. Honestly, in my opinion, out of all the domestics, I would probably drink this if there was a lineup. Probably the best one. Champagne drinkers. Uh, Cooks is a good, quick, easy way to get drunk, and Miller Life is a quick way to get through a party while having a beer. There you go. See you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links will be at the very bottom of the description while you're down there. You know what? That's where comments go. Um, don't block the beer. Jeez. If it were better, I'd be concerned. Uh huh. So, have you ever had Miller High Life and thought to yourself that, yeah, this really is the champagne of beers. It is the finest of all. Or have you found something else you're like, you know, that kind of tastes more like champagne. What's your favorite champagne? What's your favorite champagne for a mimosa? Let us know in the comments below. See you guys.